This is the scene of the crime. In this house, somewhere in France, a perfectly normal, attractive American girl lived a lifetime in 48 hours. If old houses could only talk, what stories they could tell. Well, this ancient dwelling has a voice, a voice that Rita Wallace will soon hear quite distinctly. This is not very modern. It's quite old, but very comfortable. And that, mademoiselle, is the dining room. The living room, the library, anything that you want. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's a storeroom now. Many years ago, that used to be the cool room. We used to keep the butter, eggs, milk, all sorts of things like that in there. I could use it for a dark room. It's right near the sink. <laughs> the plumbing is quite old. It still goes. <laughs> and that is Madame Rocamier. Hmm. Lovely. Oh. Oh, mademoiselle. Oh. I must have caught her. Flu bug or something. I'm uh, awfully sorry to say, but uh, I think you have fever. I'll be all right. I've got a very good physician. I better call him for you. Oh, I'll be fine. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Huh. This is not very impressive. But it's the only house that I have. Oh, it's oh of course, I've got a chateau. It's quite grand, but expensive. No, this is fine. I'll take it. Oh. Oh. It'll do rotten to look any farther anyhow. Oh, I think you better see the doctor. I've... My doctor is not very expensive. No, really, I'll be all right. I'll get some headache pills when I go out. Who's this? Oh, that is Tante Clara. <laughs> Mademoiselle, did I understand you to say that you are uh, with an American magazine? Yes. I'm a staff photographer. Oh, then you are here on uh, your vacation, no? No. Uh, it's an assignment I've wanted to do for a long time, to be called the face of France. Uh, the collective face, you see, caught in various individuals who all together will express the nature and spirit of the country, if I'm lucky. Oh, it must be very, very interesting. You know what? What? You could help make it interesting. How? Well, the pictures can be only as good as the models. If you know anyone whose face is interesting, expressing character, good or bad, I'd be very grateful if you could send him over. I'll pay, naturally. I think I'm going to look for somebody like that. Oh, good. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, it is a very good bed, and I think you're going to sleep very good. <laughs> if you need anything, call me. I'll be downstairs. Thank huh? you, madame. <laughs>
do what? I asked what you wanted. I was sent for, mademoiselle. By whom? Oh, of course, Madame Morel. Forgive me for being so rude. I'm not feeling any too well today. I must thank Madame Morel. She's a very good judge. Won't you sit down? You have quite a wonderful face, you know. Have you ever had your picture taken before? Some time ago. Oh, this is going to be just swell. Oh, where is my head? I left my camera and all my equipment in the car. Would you, you be so kind as to help me? S'il vous plaît. I hate to miss any of this light. It's uh, all in the car, a whole lot of stuff. Oh, such eyes. This is going to be marvelous. That's nice. Look, oh, good. Lovely. Ah, lovely. Now, you just do whatever you feel like doing. Make yourself comfortable. If you feel like moving around, that's fine. You don't have to hold still. What are you doing? I'm taking your picture. You're not familiar with this camera? No. No, I'm not. They've had good ones for, all oh, 25 years, I suppose. Though the film and developers have improved a great deal recently. A oh, good one. They're very good for fast work and changing light. Oh, Mr. Good. Turn that good? Wonderful. Now then, look a little to your right, as close to the sun as you can without it hurting your eyes. It doesn't hurt. Oh, that's wonderful. Just, just one more. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, if you have time, I'd like to get some light set up. Oh. Oh. oh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it after all. I'm awfully sorry. I feel just, just awful. Everything goes in and out of focus. Almost like a bad camera. I mean, it isn't the camera. It's, it's me. Oh, what a shame. Could you come back tomorrow night? Yes, I think I can do it again, since I have this time. Oh, oh good. I'd like to get some very careful shots. about you. How do you feel? Oh, a little better. Oh, you still look a little kicking. You still should see my doctor. Haven't the time. Well, you could come over to your place. Thank you, Mrs. Morel, but I'm really much better. Good, good. Thank you, merci. Anyway, you've done enough for me already by sending me that delightful old gentleman last night. The one with the... You know, the black hair is a sweet face. Oh, I'm sorry, but I send no one, although I intend to. Well, that's odd. I was sure you had. He 
just sort of appeared. He must have thought I was crazy. Well, who was he then? Maybe uh, someone that worked for a previous tenant, and he came to see if you needed anyone while he saw you moving in. Yes, that makes sense. Anyway, he's coming back tonight. He's a wonderful model. Merci. Oh. Merci. Thank you. mind knocking when you come in. Perhaps it isn't the custom in your country, but it makes me terribly nervous. Forgive me, mademoiselle. I'm sorry. No, you, you forgive me. I, I just don't feel very well, and I'm just not myself today. Has mademoiselle's ailment uh, improved? A little, but I'm afraid my disposition hasn't. It was awfully nice of you to come back this evening. W would you like a cup of tea? No, thank you. Well, then shall we get started? Good. Uh, would you sit here? Um, by the way, how did you happen to come here last evening? I thought Madame Morel had sent you, but she said no. Oh, I just came. I've been here before. Oh, that's what she thought. Oh, by the way, I pay for the posing. No, no, no pay is necessary. Oh, but of course I wouldn't expect you to do it for nothing. Do the lights bother your eyes? No, I don't mind them. Good. Now, and I'm using a slower shutter than yesterday, so I'll have to ask you to hold still when I make each shot. Now, could you lean back just a little? There, yeah, that's good. Good. Would you look a little to your right? Good. And just a little down. That's a good one. Good. Now, um, straighten up just a bit. Good. Good. Let's turn your whole body. That's good. Oh, that's wonderful. You're not a professional by any chance. A professional model? Mm hmm All right. Now... Now then, if you're quite comfortable, I'd like for you to think back. Remember something a little sad. Something that happened that made you unhappy, perhaps. Something you did, perhaps, that you regret. Just continue to sit that way. That's good, fine. Just keep on that way, thinking about it. So we can get what we call a mood picture. Monsieur, soften your face. Just that's a little too much, Monsieur. Monsieur, just relax now. That's fine. Just, just relax, Monsieur. That's good. You you, you can move now. I expect that's all we'll have to take today. 
Where have you been, Cecile? Cecile? What do you mean? You know what I mean, you filthy, cheap, rotten shen! I, I think you'd better go now. So you can meet him! Who is he now, Cecile? Who? The same one! All you want, Cecile! You're Tell me, Cecile! Please, please! You're hiding! Go away! I told you what would happen, Cecile! Go away! I want you, Cecile! I want you! Gendarmes searched the entire house with you. True? And he found no one. He also searched the entire neighborhood. Is that not so? You have found no one who resembles him? No one? It is a very odd story. I cannot imagine who it might have been. You don't believe me? It is odd. Very odd. Don't you agree? Mademoiselle, here's some hot coffee for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, how thoughtful you are. Tell me, Mademoiselle, what was the address of that house again? 344 Avenue Bonaparte. We have covered everyone who have a record of in this district, Mademoiselle. Of course, he could be from somewhere else. Eh, hey, Mazak? It could be almost anybody. Detective Mazak knows everyone around here. He has a photographic memory. Now, if you could be a little more explicit... Mm, how stupid I am. I have dozens of photographs of him. You still have them? Of course. I could develop them in a few minutes if somebody could go back with me. I... I can't go back there alone. I would be very happy to take Mademoiselle home. No, Mazak, you're going off duty. Grinnell would... No, 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 no. It's on my way. Mademoiselle, if you please. Mm -hmm. It's over there. I know. Do you mind if I smoke my pipe? Oh, not at all. It was nice of you to come with me. If you're off duty, though, you should have gone home. Well, that's all right. I wanted to see the pictures. Tell me, how did the man first get in touch with you? Well, he didn't get in touch with me. He... He just... was there. He didn't knock. Did it not seem uh, peculiar? Did it not disturb you? Well, yes, but you see, he had such a wonderful face.
Now, perhaps the inspector won't think I'm just a... an hysterical woman. Oh, he does not... Uh... Oh, yes, he does. Was here. He was. He was right here. He tried to kill me. I'm not imagining it. He tried to kill me. You have to believe me. You have to. Mademoiselle, do you please, think I'm crazy? Please do not excite yourself. I I do believe you. You believe he was here? I believe you are telling me the truth. Mademoiselle, I want you to come with me on a short trip. Where? For what? I want to show you something. Oh, I, I promise no harm will come to you. For what? Where? What's it about? I must ask you to come with me without telling you what I expect. Because I don't expect it. But we must find out. Mademoiselle, please. Please, Mademoiselle. Jean Gabot died 1926. Executed for killing his young wife. The very same house, the very same room. Tell tales. Sometimes the restless ones even revisit the scene of the crime, causing much havoc among the living thereby. What do you suppose that Rita Wallace will tell her grandchildren one day about Monsieur Jean Gabot? Will she try to explain it at all? Well, that I would like to hear, because I can't explain it. But it happened just the same. So did next week's adventure into the world of the unknown. More about that in a moment. Oh. About next week. Well, it begins with a silly argument about this hat. And it ends when two people in peril, miles apart, discover an amazing kind of communication. An incredible way of finding each other. As together they take that one step beyond.